Hey guys, it's me Lexi. Today I wanted to share with you guys my top foundations for oily skin, both the drugstore and high end. So if you have oily skin like I do, then keep on watching this video. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a foundation that I actually just recently started using not too long ago, and it is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have the shade Natural Beige. So this foundation is oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, and photo-friendly, which I think all of those claims are totally true. This foundation looks great in pictures. It wears for an extremely long time, and I think it does a very good job at controlling my oil. And I think this is the number one foundation I have ever used for my oily skin. I will wear this during a 12 hour work shift and by the end of my shift it is still there and I am not a complete you know greasy mess at the end of my shift. So I totally love this foundation. It's I believe it's 32 or 34 dollars. I will put all the information down below but I don't think that's too bad for a high-end foundation, and I think it's totally worth the price tag. This also comes with 1.6 fluid ounces, while the typical foundation comes with one fluid ounce. So this has even more than the average foundation bottle, so I think this is totally, totally worth the money. If you have oily skin, definitely give this a try. And if you, you know, if you get it from Sephora or whatever, and, and you don't like it, you can always return it. So that's always a plus. The next foundation I'm gonna share with you guys is another high-end foundation. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation. Now this is a super duper matte foundation. The one downside with this is that if you have any dry patches, it will cling to your dry patches and it will not look very flattering. Um, I do find some flashback with this as well, so keep that in mind with flash photography. This foundation also does a good job kind of covering up pores and um, I guess fine lines, but you have to be careful because it can look kind of heavy depending on you know how much you use. It definitely, you can definitely tell you're wearing makeup when you have this on. Um, as opposed to the Too Faced foundation, I feel like this looks very natural and I don't really feel it on my face when I wear it, but the Urban Decay All Nighter, you can definitely feel, you know, that you have foundation on your skin. So keep that in mind. So the next foundation I'm going to show you is a more drugstore friendly option. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. So while this is a illuminating foundation, it, you know, this doesn't keep you the most matte, but I do find this lasts a good amount of time. It gives you a more healthy glow, and if you set it with powder, it does give you a more matte finish, and I just find that this looks good on my skin. And, you know, you do probably end up having to blot or powder your face throughout the day, but I think this foundation's like $6, so it is definitely worth giving it a try, I would say. Another drugstore classic for oily skin is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I have been using this forever. This really, really does a good job at covering up your pores. Um, I do find myself having to blot and powder a lot when I use this, so um, it's not my favorite drugstore option, but it is like, I think this is like $6, so it's definitely worth giving a try out. And I think the shade range is very nice for this line. So another drugstore classic, which is my favorite drugstore foundation for my oily skin, is the Infallible 
L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. Now this will keep you matte for a very long time, but if you have dryness, this does cling to it and it can emphasize fine lines and stuff if you have that. So I think if you use like a good primer that can counteract some of the downsides to this foundation, but this is like, I wanna say 11 or $12. And I think the shade range is pretty decent. So definitely give this a try out. This will keep you very, very matte throughout the day and it does have good lasting power. Another drugstore option is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. It has vitamins and sunscreen. So this is a very nice long wearing foundation that does stay pretty matte. The only thing that really sucks about this is the shade range is horrible. Um, it, I don't really know how else to describe it. There's not a very good shade range. Even for my tan skin, it's hard for me to find something that... Um, I don't think I really have a summer shade for this because it's either too orange, too dark, or too light. I can only wear this in the winter, unfortunately. But um, it does has FP SPF, and I think this definitely does oxidize a bit, so keep that in mind while picking out a shade. So this next foundation isn't, I don't think it's technically a foundation, it's called a BB cream. It's the Misha, Misha, I don't know how you say it, Perfect Cover BB Cream. It has SPF 42, PA++++, which is amazing. Now this says... It lightens skin tone by healing visible wrinkles and blemishes with excellent skin cover ability and prevents skin aging through effective whitening and anti-wrinkle properties. Um, I think this does, you know, make my skin look very, very good. It has good coverage. It, um, I'd say this is like a medium coverage. This definitely feels a bit more heavy on the skin, but I really like this foundation and I think this is like $12 online. Um, I have the shade Honey Beige. There's not a very good shade, shade range. I don't think there's any dark shades really. I really like this foundation, especially in the summer because it has a lot, it has a good SPF. So if you have oily skin and you want some you want a foundation with SPF in it to wear in the summer. I know it's hard to find a foundation with SPF that, you know, doesn't get super oily. And this has very good lasting power and um, it looks really beautiful on the skin. So I highly recommend trying this out. So this next foundation, I feel like people either love it or hate it. I've never seen anybody really in between. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is like $42, so this is more pricey. Um, I love this foundation. This lasts all day. It's very good, I'd say, uh, low, high coverage foundation. Um, I think this does tend, it can cling to dry spots, but just use a good primer and that should help with any clinginess. This on its own doesn't really fill pores or anything like that, so also keep that in mind. So you might want to use a nut, you know, again, just use a good primer with this. And this is an amazing foundation. Definitely give it a try out if you have the money to spend, because this is one of my holy grails. I definitely, I think this is my, this was my number one, I would say, but now the Too Faced one is my number one. So this is my number two high-end foundation. All right, so this next one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. I have this shade Golden Beige. This looks so good on the skin. I love the finish it gives. It's not super matte. It's more, I feel like it gives almost a satin, just healthy finish. Um, this lasts a very good amount of time. It blurs pores looks really good in pictures but I think this breaks me out I used this for about a week 
and I started getting pimples all over my face. So I think this is breaking me out and I'm really sad because I love this foundation so much. So I'm probably not going to be using this anymore, but if you, you know, this is like, I think another $6 foundation, I would definitely give it a try out. Um, just because it broke me out doesn't mean it'll break you out. If this didn't break me out, I'd use this so much more often. This is like a low, high coverage foundation. And the last foundation I'm going to share with you is a high-end one. It is a Stila Stay All Day foundation. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this on sale at Ulta for like $20. So I don't know the real price, regular price, but I'll put that in the description. This is extremely matte and very high coverage. Um, but another thing with this is that it does cling to dry patches, which is a downer. Um, and for some reason, the way that this foundation is, I've never, I don't have any other foundation like this. It has a little scooper. And I'm not a big fan of it, cause look, you can see it's all like dirty and like, it's just not the cleanest thing I feel like. I just realized all the foundation I've shared, they all have a pump except for the Wet n Wild has a spatula. The Estee Lauder is just, this kind of sucks, you just kind of pour it out, which does end up, you kind of, I feel like I end up wasting some foundation that way. Um, the same thing with the Maybelline Fit Me. And then the infallible is a squeezy tube which uh, i don't have a problem with but all the other ones have a pump this the seal stay all day looks it's super super high coverage so if you are oily and looking for something with just extremely high coverage definitely give this a try out um but keep in mind that this can look heavy and it can cling to dry patches so that is it for all my top drugstore and high-end Foundations for oily skin. I think there was a good between high-end and drugstore. I hope you guys really enjoy it because Though some of them are high-end Sephora has sales sometimes Ulta has sales You know always keep an eye out sometimes they just randomly discount things and you can get you know certain foundations for a cheaper price than the full price which I high-end ones I got on sale so don't worry if you don't have enough money. There are also a lot of drugstore um, uh, for foundations for oily skin. Um, let me know if any of you guys have oily skin, what your favorite foundation is so I could give it a try. I'm always on the lookout for a new foundation. Um, on my channel if you want to keep, keep up with my videos and like it if you enjoyed this video. and found it helpful. Let me know if you get any of these foundations and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.